Hey, what do you have here? Yes. Do you want to open it? Okay. So open it. Do you want to see a Goku? Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's open this up and see if we can pull Goku, okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So this right here is Dragon Ball Fusion World FBO4 Ultra Limit. As you can see, it kind of looks like FBO1, so that was overlooked by me quite a bit until I realized it was different. I uh, had a couple ordered. Had my son, as you saw, bring it to me. Going to have it in more videos. And yeah, he's starting to learn what Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and all that stuff is. But he's being introduced to first Dragon Ball. We're starting, we're starting with the, the basics, you know, the the entry level all right now we got my scissors you know how i do this man this box got mangled mangled he really you'd notice that that box got really messed up over there i'm not sure if that was him playing with it throwing it around who knows i honestly have no idea if i can ever top the last dragon ball video the last poll i got if yeah if, if you haven't seen it it's right here oh my god Anywho, let's see if we can top that off. It's gonna go through these really quick. Majibu, Gohan. Very controversial. I forgot. Where's the B? Dip? No, not B. D Dipso? Dispo? Or, yeah, Dispo. I haven't watched Dragon Ball in quite a while, actually. But let us see if we can get the... I think it's a ghost rare this time. That is our first SR. And as you guys all know, SRs will go to one lucky winner at the end of the month. However, I, I will not be combining Dragon Ball and One Piece, so... If I do Dragon Ball and One Piece videos, they will be separate winnings. If I do only One Piece for the whole month, then it'll be only one, one, one Piece giveaway. Ooh, what is that? That one's shiny on the outside. That is another SR. That is Goku. This is... This is probably the fight with uh, Vegeta. It looks like, yeah, the, the art looks like when he was fighting Vegeta. Kaoken, Kamehameha. Very cool looking. There's Piccolo. I usually like opening up the Japanese boxes because you get a jump start, but now that they release them at roughly the same exact time, it's weird how. It, it, I, th I believe it is the exact same time. I could be wrong. But, yeah. It, it comes out the exact same time. They don't do it for One Piece. One Piece is still quite a bit ahead. And they're both Bandai. So, I was just kind of confused there. She looked angry. It's old school Vegeta. Bobbity. If you wonder why I cut them, I pulled down the regular tear things one time and I did damage the card. And ever since, I just cut the tops off. And then we have baby Vegeta. What's your favorite? Are you a, are you a big Dragon Ball GT person or are you a big Dragon Ball Super person or are you just a straight classic Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball? That starts a hell of a topic when you ask that. You have no idea how many people I see argue and argue about which uh, series is better.
Oh, there we go. We got a secret Vegito. Not sure if this were a word, if this, if it was still a beautiful, beautiful card. I mean, like, really, really good. I want to say this is when he fought uh, Majin Buu or Buhan, but I could be wrong. Wait, is this even from the movie? It might not be. But the only time I remember seeing uh, Vegeta was when he uh, fought Buhan. But like I said, I could be wrong. Nonetheless, very beautiful card. It's a secret alt art. Really nice. Centering is not bad. I'll have to take a look at it. Okay, now this is going to sound really uh, biased, whatever. I don't care. That's my man right there. That's my dude. He is my favorite Dragon Ball character. Not the fat one. This one. This little guy. This one specifically. And for all, and for all the people that's is probably going to piss off, I'll tell you right now. I think everyone who thinks... Kid Buu is stronger than Buhan. Really didn't take into consideration what was actually meant by the words being said that he was the most dangerous of the Boos. My take, and if you hate me for it, hate me for it. Everyone has their opinion. My take on it is simply what the hell? Is this. DA, is that safe for the, the uh, Dymo, whatever that thing is? I haven't even watched it yet. That is really trippy. Is it the gold lettering? All? I'll have to take a look at that. Looks really awkward. <laughs> but still, that's not a bad... My voice is still popping. Still, that's not a bad looking card. Looks kind of, like said, looks kind of awkward with Piccolo being a little kid, but dang. I kind of lost my train of thought what I was just talking about I think if, if I if we were talking if I'm going back I think we're talking about the Majin Buu thing long story short I think people misunderstood dangerous for powerful I think Buhan and you might get me a lot of hate for it I think Buhan was the strongest of the Buu versions but I don't think it was anywhere near as dangerous as Kid Buu because you could talk to you could talk to Super Boo to a certain extent and and he would sit around to wait for a fight or you could entice him with other stuff, right? There was really no reasoning with Kid Boo. He saw, he blew up, he destroyed, he didn't think about it. So that's that's my take. My take is Kid Boo is the most dangerous in terms of the fact that you can, he is just a walking, living, chaotic thing that only knows how to destroy, kill, and all that stuff. I mean, he, he chased people to the to heaven and hell in order to re-kill them. I guess I don't know. Final pack. I think that's the first awakened card I've seen and we end off with the Videl still I mean like the, I, I guess the three cards oh, hold on a second I mean, like, cut that off there as soon as I put it down one two three well it looks like I mean like, the, my, the three special cards I like here is obviously we got a secret rare Vegito and then we got the really awkward Piccolo Daim Daimo something I think I think I, that's all I know the Kid Buu looks, I love this one. I'm just being biased. I think this is my favorite card out of the polls. I just love Kid Buu, so. Oh, that's just, that, that right there is still gonna be one of the most iconic moments in Super that you would never thought would happen is when Goku is launching Vegeta at, uh, Jiren, Jiren, okay. So that was, okay, yeah. See, I'm tired, I guess, I can't think, but yeah. Nonetheless, those are my three favorite pulls. So I'm sorry 
This is not going to want to a lucky winner because I love my I love Kid Buu, but these three will. You have the Vegeta and and Goku, no Frieza and Goku, Baby Vegeta, and you have the Goku from uh, Ko and Kamehameha when he's fighting Vegeta. Those three will go to a lucky winner. These are staying with me, especially him. That's my that's my that's my boo. <laughs> Anyways. If you guys like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. You know what? I'll, 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 let, my, I'll let my son end it off. You guys take care and have a nice one. <laughs>